The arrest in Ukraine of a Frenchman suspected of planning 15 attacks on French soil during Euro 2016 has revived fears over security during the tournament. Ukraine's security service, the SBU, says the 25-year-old detained last month near the Polish border had an arsenal of weapons and explosives. According to those who've questioned him, he had ultra-nationalist views and planned to attack a mosque, a synagogue and French tax offices. French police have reportedly found a T-shirt with a far-right logo at his home, but no evidence so far of a terrorist plot. An advisor to Ukrainian intelligence has told Euronews the young man had been in contact with forces fighting on Ukrainian territory and had received weapons training. There are fears that the conflict in the east could provide fertile ground for terrorists seeking cheap combat weapons. We know of 25 people from one of our neighbouring countries who wanted to enter into the European Union and who were arrested on Ukrainian territory, he says. They're alleged members of Islamist terrorist organisations. The Ukrainians say the arrest of the Frenchman followed months of surveillance. Reports say he could be extradited to France. Through this operation, the Ukrainian security service and the Ukrainian authorities in general are showing the European Union that it can count on them when it comes to their own security. Of course, they are doing that also in the framework of a negotiation concerning the conflict in the Donbas. Sergio Cantone, Euronews, Kyiv.